Bombadil is so funny. He had to, like, ask to come up tonight and hang out with us. Not not because he had to, but he was like, can, can I come up now? Can, can I come up now? Yeah, good boy. <laughs> so we had game night tonight, which was super fun, but also meant that I did not edit. Instead, I came home and had a wine cooler, and now I'm going to go to bed because... That's what we do on game nights. Cody, did you have a fun game night? Yeah, man. Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Yay! <laughs> I played some Watch List Die 2. I figured out why my video card was broken on my computer, which meant I can play video games again. Ooh, that's exciting. It was super annoying. Hi, cutie. <laughs> and I'm gonna read more of this book. Ooh. Which this book... Okay, this book. It's a good book. You got I it for like me for my so birthday. Far. But, there's something weird about it. I feel like it's not organized at all. Not really. And it's like it is. There's chapters that have themes, but then it gets real wandery, but I super find it fun. It's I'm very it's very it interesting. It makes me want to play historic wargaming one time. Because that sounds like it would be a super fun, intense experience, but it also is all of the parts about D&D that I don't like. Because yep. I don't like combat, and I don't like rules. I feel like you'd hate it. And so I would hate it. I would absolutely hate it, but I would really have fun getting, like, demolished by someone really good at it. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like playing chess against someone who knows how to play chess, and you just get wrecked. It's kind of fun. You're hilarious. That's how I feel about playing, like, historic <laughs> war gaming, where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, I have to, like, render things, and they just, like, demolish me. <laughs> like, okay, fine, I lose. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess the other interesting thing is I went to, um, the Mud Creek Players, I went to their barn today, um, I'm gonna be helping mentor, uh, the middle and high school students who are putting together Willy Wonka, mostly with costumes, which I'm a little bit nervous about, because... Like, I'm not great at costumes, I have a basic knowledge, but I'm not great. So I don't know how much mentoring I'll be doing, but it'll just be nice to be back in the theater. I mean, it seems like a, a good group, and you know, uh, when we move, they're gonna be like five minutes from our new house, so it's, it's conveniently close in a community theater, and I think it'll be a good experience, but. We are going to go to bed now. Look at how vicious Bombadil is. Can you see how vicious his face is? <laughs> They're very vicious, yeah. Watch boy. this though. Like he's gonna bite me, but he like doesn't actually bite. He just like kind of puts my finger in his mouth, and then he's like, "Okay, no." He's a good boy. Like, he, even he if knows. I like try to get him to bite me, he like doesn't really bite. That's he's like he makes knows. a snarly face, then he just like licks me. He's a good boy. <laughs> and he's like, "That's a good boy." All right, we're going to bed. Bye! Bye. Bye.